leave the baby here. You really think I want something that has this much power? Give me a break. I do still love this baby, though. Oh, God, this baby is going to destroy us. We got to get out of here now. Oh, my goodness. This baby has superpowers. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I guess you can live here with me. I will name you Dale. Oh, I can't believe it. This is my first time at a birthday party. I hope no one finds out about my powers. Hey, Jimmy, thanks for inviting me to your party. Cha, yeah, it's like whatever, man. I invite everyone to my party. Well, I, I really appreciate it. It's my first time Ch I've ever- Shut up, Dale. The only reason why you're here to begin with is because my mom is friends with Kelsey, and she made me invite you. I didn't realize your mom was friends with my mom. She's not your mom, you idiot. She runs the orphanage that you live in, all right? Okay, man. Th thanks for the invite. Cha, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, no! What's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You, you're a freak, man. Get out of here. I don't know what happened. You came in here and you ruined my entire birthday party. Now just get out. All right, I'm sorry. You're a freak. Hey, Dale. Why are you back from the party so early? Dude, I accidentally ruined everything. Oh, no. Did you use your powers again? Yeah, man. Everyone thinks I'm a freak, but I don't care. Why should I be ashamed of it, you know? Yeah, but... You know how much trouble that gets you in. I can't help it. This is who I am. It doesn't make me feel good having to pretend like I'm somebody else. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Dale, I don't think you're a freak because of it. You're going to figure out these powers, and you're going to do great things, okay? No, man. That's why you're my best friend. You're the only person in this orphanage that's ever been nice to me, besides Kelsey. Dale, I thought I told you not to use your powers at that party. Look, I can't help it. I don't know how to control my powers, okay? I sneezed, and then everything exploded. I don't know what to do. You're in big trouble, and you need to start listening to me. All right, I'll try to keep them under control. Okay, and go! Oh, man, what the heck? I don't understand why these powers come and go. I don't know what to do. I know I'll get it someday. I know it. Help! Help! Hey, hey get back here, you stupid old lady. Oh, no, please, somebody help Gosh, me. Gosh, I gotta help this person. There's only a way that I can get there faster. I'm so slow at running. Oh, my gosh, I'm flying! I want all of your money, all right? Hey, you! Stop what you're doing! Ah, it's a superhero! I'm out of here, man! I'm out! Not so fast! Yeah. Ah. Thank, thank you for saving me. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't tell anyone it was me, okay? I'm gonna bring this guy to the police station. You never saw me. I didn't see anything. Yeah, this this boy, he just flew out of nowhere and he saved me. Oh, no, it's on the news? Dale, did you save that woman? Yeah, I did, and I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, okay? I'm really proud of you for using your powers for good, okay? It's just, I get really nervous sometimes about it. Wait, you really mean that? It's okay to use my powers for good? I'll go get it. Hey, this is, uh, the orphanage, right? Uh, yes. Uh, why are you here? The mayor actually sent me to check on a report of a person with powers living here. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, they want to bring that person down to the station for questioning. You happen to know who this individual is? Um, no, there's no person here that has powers. <laughs> you wouldn't be lying to me now, miss, would you? No, 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 I'm positive. <laughs> okay, but just know... We're watching this place closely. All right, officer. <laughs> Man, that was close. I know. You gotta be more careful. Man, you're just so lucky that you didn't get caught. I know. I hate that I have to keep my powers a secret. I don't get why the town hates me for saving someone. Yeah, I don't either, but, you know, it's how life works sometimes. I don't care, though. My powers are a gift. If I can help people, then why am I going to be ashamed of All right, everybody, give me all you got! Oh my gosh, Dale! Uh, please, don't hurt me! Just give me the money, stupid! There goes nothing. Hey, take this! Whoa! Oh my gosh, that little freak over there with the powers just saved uh, me! I guess you're welcome. Come on, Dale, we got to get out of here quick! Yeah, get out of here! I don't trust you! You're scared! No matter what I do, people think that I'm bad. I just stopped a robber. Hey, 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 what's wrong with you two? Nothing, uh, I'm tired. Dale? Yes? Did you use your powers again? Yeah, I did, okay? But I stopped a robber, and then I remembered that it probably wasn't such a good idea. What you're doing is good, but not many other people see it that way. I don't understand why. It's because they see you as a villain. You're very powerful. But that doesn't make any sense. All I do is good things. I don't use my powers to hurt anybody, and I never would. I know you wouldn't. I just am worried about what other people may think. Who cares what other people think? When they're in need, I'm there. It's so frustrating that they don't see it that way. Dale, go hide. Hi, are you Kelsey? Uh, yes, that's me. Yeah, so I heard that you're protecting some sort of criminal with superpowers. And I want you to know that I don't like 
criminals with superpowers. Um, I didn't know it was a crime to be a superhero. I don't like people taking the law into their own hands. You understand? I do understand, but luckily there's no superheroes Look, don't here. don't play stupid with me, okay? I'm the mayor of this town. I know everything. If that little freak is living here, you better tell him to stay out of my town. You're a freak. Now get off my property. That's fine. I will, but this isn't over. Man, this is so frustrating. I'm just trying to do good for people, and nobody sees it that way. My whole life, no one's ever understood me. I've been abandoned, I've been made fun of, and still, all I'm trying to do is help, and no one cares. I can't let it change me, though. I have to keep doing good. Help! Help! No! Jeez, this car crash is terrible! Uh, hey, it's gonna be okay. Oh, please help me! Right, don't worry, I'm gonna help you out. How are you gonna do that? Here, just like this, come on. Ah! Don't worry, I'll get you to the hospital. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, freeze right there! Oh, hey, sorry about the- uh, true. Oh, no! Oh. Ah, what the heck, man? I'm, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Yeah, 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 I'm sure it was. Don't move, all right? Leave me alone, I didn't do anything wrong! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it got so out of control. Dale, you're in big trouble. I don't care, okay? Stop using your powers. How many times do I have to tell you that? Look, I'm not gonna stop using them, okay? I need to learn how to control them better. But that guy could have died if I wasn't there to help him. Look, I'm just doing this to protect you. I was given these powers for a reason, wasn't I? I feel like I'm here to help people. I don't know why people just can't accept that. People can be cruel when they don't have a full understanding of what's going on. They're jealous of your powers, and they're scared of them. You just need to be more careful. I know I need to learn how to contain my power. I think it's just gonna happen with time. I mean, other superheroes can. Look, regardless, I've been alone my whole life. And the only person that ever stood up for me was you. And there's a bunch of other people out there just like me that never had anybody take care of them. They've been alone and they've been hurt. And if I can stop them from feeling like that for even one second, then I'm going to spend my entire life doing that. Oh, no. Dale, get in the car. We have to go. Now. All right, here we are. The mayor. Dale, don't be worried. Everything will be okay, all right? Yeah, of course. Well, there he is, the real criminal. I can't believe you protect this little creep. I've been saving people all around your city. Why are you acting like this? Because people with power can't be trusted. You have power. Why should we trust you then? Well, luckily, I'm the mayor, and I don't have to answer stupid questions. I don't need your trust. I run this town. What I say goes. Look, I didn't mean to misuse my powers. I was just trying to save that guy from the car, and I got scared. I was trying to help. Well, we don't need your help in this city, okay? You need to go far away from this town. Please. Don't take him away. They have no choice. He either leaves or we lock him up until he's a grown-up, and then we lock him up again. Please, Kelsey's my only family. She's the only one that I have. You say that like I care. I've got an entire city to take care of, okay? I can't be worried about your stupid feelings. Please, Kelsey, I don't want to go. Dale, I don't want you to go either. I'll take you to my brother's farm, all right? And I'll come visit you as many times as I can. You know what, Mayor? You're an awful person. All I wanted to do is help your city, and now you're just being selfish. You're taking my family away from me again. I don't care. This freak needs to leave, and he needs to leave now. Come on, Dale. Let's get out of here. Hey, Uncle Clark. My goodness, Dale, how many times do I have to tell you no flying on the farm? Look, I'm sorry, okay, but... No buts, all right? After eight years, you think you learned to listen. Hey, I really appreciate you letting me live here after I got kicked out of the city. Of course. What was I gonna do? Let you roam on the streets? Come on, let's go inside. All right, good. I'm starving. What's for dinner? In other news, there's a supervillain destroying this Wait, town. Wait, that's my city. That's right. It feels as if there's more supervillains than their heroes. Will there be somebody to stop them? Who knows? I gotta help them, Uncle Claude. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm letting you go over there. That's too dangerous. No, it's not too dangerous. Don't you remember what that mayor over there did to you? He told everyone that you were a villain, all right? You have to lay low until more people accept you for who you are. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just worried about Kelsey and Ted. They're strong people. They can hold themselves up. Also, I uh, forgot to get stuff for dinner, so mind going to the store? <sighs> After all that, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll go get some groceries. And no flying! I love living here with my uncle, but sometimes I wish that I could just go home. I hate only seeing Kelsey once in a while. It just feels like I've been abandoned. She really is my mom. I hate hiding. I don't want to pretend that I'm someone else. Oh my goodness. No, another accident. This car, it's on fire. Please, goodness, help me. Here you go, quick. Oh, oh my goodness. I can't believe it. You just saved me. How, how, how'd you do hey, it? Hey, look, man. You never saw me, okay? What do you mean you, you saved me? Of course I saw you. Who even are you? Don't worry about it. Just a guy trying to do the right thing. Wait, wait a minute. You're flying. I need to go tell Barbara. 
All right, Uncle Clark, I got the food. Hey, what's wrong, man? I, I, I can't believe this is happening. Tell me what's wrong. Kelsey, she was in that attack by that super villain. Is she okay? No, she, she's hurt pretty bad. Oh my gosh! I can't do this anymore! No, 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 no. Dale, just, just, just calm down, all right? Calm down. Ah! Dale, what did I say? Calm down! This villain's destroying the city that I grew up in. It hurt the closest thing that I've ever had to a mother. I'm not just gonna sit here because everyone thinks that I should be something else. This is who I am! You're not thinking clearly, all right? You need to think this through. You're angry. Last time I checked, it's my job to protect people. And I'm not gonna sit back and watch this happen Wait, anymore. Dale, Dale! Look at this place. How could someone do this? I need to find this guy before he does something even crazier. Hey, super villain! Whoever you are, show yourself! Who is this weak, pathetic freak in front of me? Shut up, man. I'm more powerful than you. Oh, yeah? You really think that? What are you gonna do to me? The greatest super villain of them all! Yeah, we'll see about that. Take this! Oh, 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 man. I thought you were gonna destroy me! Get back here and fight! I'll deal with him after. I gotta find Kelsey. I gotta make sure that she's okay. Mom, I'm here. Dale? What are you doing here? I just needed to make sure you're okay. Uncle Clark told me everything. I'm fine, but you're not gonna be if the mayor finds out that you're here. Look, relax. Nobody knows that I'm here. I just don't want you to get in trouble, Dale. Don't you get it? Everything in life has a purpose. I was given this beautiful gift, and I'm not just gonna sit around and not use it. I'm so proud of you, Dale. Just please be careful. I will. Plus... If he keeps getting away with it, much stronger villains are going to figure out that they can destroy this place. Pretty soon, this is not going to be a city left. Look, I'm going to go find a place to hide out for a while, but I'll be around. Don't worry, I'm not going to let anything else happen to this city. Oh man, this is the only place that I think I can hide out. It's alright though. I don't need anything fancy. I'm just glad that I can keep my city safe, even though they rejected me. Oh, there you are. Oh, you didn't learn your lesson the first time? I didn't think that you were that stupid to come back. I thought I was going to have to try to find you myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy there. I'm not going to take it easy, man. You hurt a lot of people I care about. Listen, I think we got off on the wrong foot. My name is Josh, and you are? Don't worry about my name. What do you want? Isn't it obvious what all villains want to be seen as what we are meant to be? I grew up with people just not understanding that I was meant to be more than just a, a grocery store clerk. I have powers. Everyone made fun of me for it. So you decided to take it out on everyone else? That seems like a really stupid thing to do. No, they were the stupid ones. They were the ones who didn't give me a chance. They were the ones who laughed at me and put me down every single chance that they got. Yeah, well, you were given a beautiful gift. Who cares if they make fun of you if they don't understand? understand. You have responsibility. And that responsibility is to do good, to help people. Who cares if people made fun of you? Grow up! I thought you would be smarter than this. Everyone has a responsibility, and mine is to put light to the evil that's within all of us! I've had enough of this conversation. It's going nowhere! <laughs> you are going to lose this battle. Do you understand me? Oh, man, I can't believe Ted's got his own place. I haven't seen him in eight years. I, I hope everything's cool. Uh, hello? Who, who, who's there? Ted, I'm so happy to see you. What are you doing you. here? Oh, what do you mean? Calm down. I just came back to see you. Yeah, right. You're a villain now. Get away from me. What are you talking about? I'm not a villain. I came here to stop the villain. You think that I would come here and destroy the city? You're right. I, I didn't want it to be true either. Just uh, come in. All right, wow, this is a cool place. Wait, the mayor? That's right, the evil supervillain is back. He was banished as a kid, and now he came back to get his revenge. His name is Dale, and he should not be trusted. He might tell you he's doing good, but he's evil, I tell you. Trust me, I'm the mayor. None of this is true. What the heck is this guy's problem? How does he even remember me? You can see now why I thought you were evil. Gosh, this guy's brainwashing people. This town needs superheroes. It can't just be all villains. You know how much the mayor hates you guys. Really, it's not a good idea for you to stick around that long. I'm being framed, don't you get it? I need to clear my name before it's too late. I know. Let's just hope you can figure out how to do it fast. I'll be in contact, but I gotta go. I, I don't want to get you in any trouble. Mama, it wasn't me. I didn't attack the town. 
Mo Hello? Mom? Wait, where is she? Excuse me, doctor. Where did that woman in that room go? Some strange man arrived and, and took her. He said that she was family or something. Wait, no. Who took her? Uh, I don't know. He, he said his name was Josh or something. Said he was really close with her. Gosh, that's a super villain. What are you doing, man? Do better. Wait a second. You're, you're a liar. You're the super villain I saw on TV. The mayor said that you were evil. I'm not the super villain. You've got it all wrong. No, no, no. I got everything right, all right? I got a doctrine's degree. This guy's evil, everyone. Not me. I don't have time for this. I gotta get some answers. Yeah, it's about time you showed up. What is your problem? You know that I didn't do any of this villain stuff. Wow, you're a genius on top of having superpowers, aren't you? That villain is super weak. You guys could have handled him easily. Why didn't you? Well, I had a better plan. You're gonna stop him some other way? Well, no, but if we stopped him, we'd have no way to frame you. So you're admitting it. What is your problem? You're the only person with power strong enough to beat me. If I made this town hate and fear you, then nothing you do will ever look good, and I'll be able to lock you up. Wait a minute. So what do you have to gain from this? Wait, have you been the villain the whole time? Of course. How do you think I live in this mansion? I rob and steal everybody, and I use you as my scapegoat. A lot of people have been hurt because of you. My own mom was hurt, and now she's missing because of you. You don't have a mom. That's Kelsey. She just took care uh, of you. Don't talk about my family like that ever again! Calm down. It shouldn't be hard to find where that idiot took her anyway. I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna expose everything that you've done. You better not step foot in the city ever again, or else you're gonna be in trouble. This isn't finished, Mayor, and I'll be back. I expect you to be. All right, this must be the place. Man, this guy's really bad at not leaving a trail behind. Mom? Mom! Dale? I is that you? Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're safe. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry this happened to you because of me. This isn't your fault. Maybe if you were here, this town would be a better place. The mayor isn't gonna let that happen. He might be the biggest criminal of all. Well, well, well. I knew kidnapping your mother would get you here. Take this! Oh, oh. Man, why does that keep happening? Never letting you do anything like this ever again. You're gonna be locked up for a long time. People like you don't get to take out your hurt on other people. It's wrong. And mom. I don't know if this place is safe for you anymore. I'll be fine. I, I still have that orphanage to run. I just can't bail on all those kids. I'm trying to make sure that you're protected is best going forward. And you, you're coming with me. I've had enough of you. Oh, oh, man. Okay, everything's gonna be okay, I oh, promise. Man, please help me. Don't worry, I have you. Come on. All right, you're safe now. Are you okay? No, not anymore. I was waiting for the police to get here. Not some super freak like you. I'm trying to save you. I've heard around all about who you are. You are evil. Well, I'm glad that you're okay. Go away and never return. I still can't believe after all these years, the mayor has everybody's minds poisoned like this. They all still think I'm a villain. It's ridiculous. Hey, Ted. Is my mom and uncle okay? Yeah, they are. And the orphanage is fine, too. Good. Ted, I just want to thank you for helping me over these years. It really means a lot to me, you know? Of course. You've been my best friend since we were kids. I'm just sorry that, you know, I didn't believe you when you first visited back. Look, man, you signed up for a pretty dangerous task. That mayor is not happy. Yeah, when is he ever, though? Have you found anything useful on him? Well, all that money that's been robbed has been traced all the way back to him. It's under a code name, though, so we can't really prove anything. I know that there's going to be more robberies. The crime is getting out of control. This mayor is going nuts. But I wonder if we can get some people that he works with to talk, you know? You know, that might be the best bet, talking to his close connections. I'm just going to go take care of this now. I'm so tired of this guy ruining everyone's lives. Be careful, Dale. Don't want to blow her cover. What are these guys up to? This is a perfect chance to get some information on the mayor. Who's that? What is this freak doing here? Don't you know everyone in this town hates you? Hey, you guys can both stop right now, and I promise I won't hurt either of you. I'm a super villain. There's nothing you're gonna do to me. Yeah, you're stupid, man. That mayor's got a back. All right, you asked for it. Ah! All right, now you guys better start talking. What is the mayor up to? I need answers right now. Hey, <laughs> you ain't gonna get a word from us. Yeah, dude, we don't fall that easily. Then I'm gonna take you both to jail, and they'll never let you out. Even if you were gonna do that? They let us out in no time. I'm not worried. Yeah, you seem to forgot whose side the mayor is on, you idiot. Sooner or later, this entire town's gonna be coming for you. Wait, what do you mean? The mayor just lets you out of jail? And trust me when I say that he has big plans for you. How can this be happening? I gotta look into this. 
What is your problem? How can you let these criminals go free? You're supposed to be the police chief. Hey, aren't you the worst villain of them all? I'm not a villain. I'm the only one trying to stop this madness from happening. Think what you want about me, but you're the one that's the criminal. Yeah, and I was right. There is a good person out there with powers. I need you to answer this for me. Why would you let people go? Listen, I have no control of what's going on over here. Every time I put someone behind the bars, the mayor comes over and lets them walk. How is that even possible? You're the chief of police. I wish that were true at this point, but as of right now, I have no power while that mayor is still here. So what are you doing about it? Oh, trust me. I have my own little investigation going on with the mayor. But a lot of the criminals that have been brought in here have been spying for him, shutting down my investigation. Investigation constantly. There's gotta be something that we can do about this. The city's getting destroyed. But you know, may make this a lot easier for the both of us. I'm willing to work with you if you're willing to work with me. I actually might have a solution to this problem. Are you in to help? Of course I am. Let's do it. All right, all right, put all the money in the bag, man. All right, it's time for you to surrender. <laughs> I thought I already went over this with you, tough guy. Man, your voice is so annoying. You're coming with me. <laughs> I'll be walking out of the police station by the end of the night, stupid. Well, this time, I'm not bringing you to the police station. Here we go, just as I promised. Oh, there you guys are. Hey, let me go! Well, we're out of the mayor's jurisdiction now. There's nothing that he can do here. Yeah, so it's probably best that you start talking. The mayor promised me a million dollars, okay? So what's the mayor's plan working with all these criminals? Why does he keep letting you walk? The mayor recruits villains and criminals to come here. We commit the crimes for him, and he makes a profit off of it. I knew he was up to something foul. He's slowly becoming the richest person in the world, and he plans to take over more cities. Pretty soon, all the Roblox will just be criminals. We really gotta stop this guy before it's too late. It's important that you go back to the city and deal with this. I'll handle this villain. No way, come on! Shut up! That super villain, Dale, has stopped yet another robbery. There has been a big decrease in crime over the last two weeks. I think this Dale character of ours, who we once thought was a villain, may actually be the hero we need. What? Where are my men? Greg, get over here! How? Are these criminals not out of jail now? And why does everyone think that Dale is a good person? He's been out sparring us with every move, all right? We're trying our best. You work for me. We're the smartest people in the world. He's been taking them to the jails outside of the city. Why haven't you broken them out? Listen, we've, we've been trying, all right? We've done several attempts to have them set free, but nothing's been working in our favor. My gosh. We need to destroy Dale once and for all. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, are you guys okay? Uh, I can't believe it. It's my home, and it's, it's gone. The place is completely destroyed. Who was this? Who did this? It was so fast. I, I don't know what happened. It's got to be the mayor trying to send me a message. Listen, Dale, I told you from the beginning, all right? This man just has to stop. I know it's hard trying to do everything all at once. The best I can do for now is you guys all have to stay in my underground base. I don't want anyone else to be unsafe. And I promise, I won't let anything else happen to you. That's, That's right, right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen. I'm, I'm sure that you have all noticed, noticed the crime has been going, going down this last, last month, month tremendously. tremendously. I, want I want you all, you all to know that, that I've been working, working hard with the only, only superhero, superhero that existed in this town. Damn. As, As you, you all have known, known you have you've all been, been lied to over, over the years. years. Dale, Dale has been a hero all along and has been blamed for the crimes of others. others. If it weren't for him, this town would have been completely destroyed. We have enough evidence to share that the mayor has been the one behind all of this. Thanks for the kind words, Chief. Citizens of Roblox, I promise you that we're going to put an end to this crime and violence. I was given this gift of powers, and I promise I'll always use them for good. I know many of you have friends and family. When I was abandoned as a child, there were only a few people that took me in and made me feel like I belong. I know how precious that gift is, and I promise I'll protect your friends and family like I would my own. We're going to take, take down, down the evil mayor. mayor. I, I promise. promise. Yeah, take down the mayor. How are there no criminals left to help us, Greg? Listen, I I'm sorry, all right? Things haven't been this bad in a while. You let those stupid idiots talk about me on TV. Yeah, and uh, I haven't told you yet, but it's even a little worse. The press conference, they, they just called you out. Oh, my goodness. So they know what I've done? All of them. Every single person. Oh, my gosh. How could this happen? You had a backup plan or something, right? Like, we can't just spend the rest of our lives buying bars. Good thing I hid all my money and moved everything out of my house. All they'll find is an empty place there after the next Are robbery. Are you listening to what I'm saying? We have no more super villains. We don't need them. The town's going to be so distracted with Dale, we can do this robbery ourselves. One 
billion Robux. Do you understand what that means? That's a lot, but uh, I don't know. I'll do this myself. But you're not getting a dime from me. You know what? Fine. I don't care anyway. I'm Good. out. Go. Don't stand in my way. All right, that's the last of it. These idiots are never gonna catch me. I'm gonna make it out with one billion Robux. Hey, get back here! Ha, you missed! Not today! Oh man, I can't believe I got away with it. No one's ever gonna stop me now. Ah! Get away from me! Stop running! Oh! You've committed your last crime. No, let me go! No, you've hurt the city long enough. It's over. You know, I'm really happy that we were able to spend time as a family. I love you guys. We love you too, Gavin. Wow, oh, I love stealing cars! Hey, <laughs> yeah! Gavin, watch out! What? Ah! Oh, no! Oh. oh, man, what happened? Oh, my gosh. Mom! Dad! We have to call an ambulance. Oh, man, I gotta get out of here. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, you! Get back here! What the? Ah! Uh, do I have superpowers? Oh, Gerald, no! Come on, we gotta get this guy! Oh, I have to get out of here. Hey, get back here, you freak! Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, man, I'm cornered. Hey, you think you could just mess with my friend like that? You're gonna pay for what you did. No, stay away from me! Ah, what the heck? What are you? Do you have powers? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I do? Oh, yeah, doesn't look like you know how to use them. You're coming with me, you freak. This ends now! Ha! Ah! Oh. No, please, please don't hurt me. I saw what you did. The prophecy is true. The elemental hero is here. Elemental what? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm not a hero. You have great powers. Don't deny them. Listen, I don't care about no prophecy. I am not a hero. Leave me alone. This isn't the end. This is just the beginning. We need to know if they're okay. They, they just have to be okay. Nurse Jenkins, I need you to check on room two, please. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Have two people come in here that were maybe in a car accident? This isn't a homeless shelter, kid. Who are you looking for? Uh, my mom and dad. They were both hit by a car. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. They both passed away. What? No, no, that can't be true. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Oh, they can't be dead. They both got hit by that car. The odds of survival were pretty small. Well, where are they? Can I see them at least? No, you can't. Excuse me, kid. Can you come over here with me? What? Why? What did I do? Those two people were your parents, right? Um, yeah, that's true. They have witnesses to the event. They said they saw someone with superpowers attacking those people. And we have reason to believe that you're the one who did it. Who are you working for, huh? Uh, nobody. That's not what happened at all. They were both hit by a car. That's not what the witnesses say. You're going to tell me who you're working for one way or another. Come on. Let's go downtown and talk about this. Are you comfortable? Actually, I don't really care. So tell me, kid, are you the supervillain or you just work for him? I'm not. How many times do I have to tell you? A robber ran over my parents and he ran off. Yeah, yeah, we know all about the robber, idiot. He's just part of the gang that you're a part I'm of. I'm not in any gang. Those are my parents. I want to see that guy put away. You're framing the wrong person. Why haven't you tried to stop him? You telling me how to do my job? Ho, 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 ho. You're part of that villain's gang and I know it. Hey, man, he's free to go. Wait. What? What do you mean he's free to go? I just started interrogating him! I know, but his legal guardian came by and explained the situation. Gavin is free to go. Whatever, get out of my face! Guardian? What guardian is he talking about? Oh, no, not you again. You need to calm down and listen to me. I don't want to listen to you. I want to get revenge on the guy who killed my mom and dad. I don't have time to deal with your prophecy nuts. Listen to me, kid. I know you're the elemental hero. And someday you will save everybody. But now you need to rest. And you need to listen to what I say. I don't have to listen to you. I don't even know you, man. You are so stubborn. When the time is right, I will train you. You are the only person that can stop what is coming. Yeah, whatever. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I can't believe they're really gone. Yeah, I know. My whole life changed in, in a second. Well, I'm always here for you, man. Thanks. My best friend, Luke. I, I, I really appreciate you being here for me. Yeah, of course, dude. Where else would I be? Come on, why don't we go get some food or something? Yeah, hey, wait, wait, wait a second. Is that him? That's the guy who killed my parents. Hey, you! Gavin, what's happening to you? This is for my parents, you freak! Ah! Oh, what the heck? 
happening? Who are you? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> Gavin, what the heck was that? Uh, I I don't know. Are you a superhero? I, I'm really not sure, but I, I need to get out of here. I need to find some answers. Where is that guy? I gotta find him. I don't even know where I am. Hey, you! Over here! I'm right here! I need to talk! Calm down! Oh. Everything's gonna be okay. Why are you here in the middle of the woods? Laying low, obviously. You really don't know anything, do you? Hiding from what? You haven't told me the full story. There's a war going on right now between superheroes and villains. It's been going on for centuries. An ancient prophecy foretold of the birth of an elemental superhero. He would be born a regular person and turned into the savior for all that is good. <laughs> so what, you think that's me? Some kid with minor anger management problems? It is you. It's time that you you learn to control your powers. Listen, I don't care about any of that stuff. I just want to find the guy who took my family away. He has to pay. And you can do that after you learn more about your powers. You can use them to find that guy. They all work for the same person, and you're destined to fight him, Gavin. Fight him how? I don't even know how to control my power. Don't you see? This is your revenge. This is what I'm here for. I will be your spiritual guide. I have been helping heroes for years. Well, if it means getting back at the guy, then yeah, I'm willing to learn. There are three people that you need to find that will help you unlock each of your elemental powers. Once you have all three, you will be the most powerful hero on the planet. Okay, then. Where can I find them? The first person is the only one who knows where the others are. You must prove yourself to him first. You know, I'll do whatever it takes. <sighs> I need to explain to Luke what happened. Gavin, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. Why? That's a little harsh. I just want to explain what happened back at the funeral. The whole town thinks you're part of some supervillain gang now. What? No, that, that isn't it at all. I'm a hero, or at least I will be. I'm going to put an end to all the pain and hardship that people are feeling from these criminals. I believe you, but a lot of other people don't. Yes, officer. The villain is here on my front lawn. Don't hurt me, Gavin. What? No, sir, I'm not a villain. See, even my dad thinks you're the bad guy. Gavin, you have to go now. And okay, I'll see you later, Luke. That's right. Run, villain. Get off my lawn. Man, how much longer do I have to keep walking through these woods? I don't even know what I'm supposed to expect to find out here. All Kleto told me is that I could find my first guide here. Where is he? What the heck was that? What the heck? Who's there? Uh, yeah! Oh, hey, back off! Oh. Oh, whoa, good! It's really you! What? Who are you? Well, why did you attack me? My name is Anthony, and I harness the power of lightning. I had to make sure you were who I thought you were. No one else would have been able to defend against that attack but the elemental superhero. Yeah, uh, I guess that's me. I had a feeling you would show up sooner than later. Here, I have a special potion that'll help you harness your power, but you need to be ready. Ready? Ready for what? First, you need to eat and rest. Then tomorrow, I'll start training you. Take this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how do I know I can trust you? You don't, but you should. If you want to become the hero you were meant to be, you need to learn to control your powers. Otherwise, they will consume you. And I can teach you how to take control. All right. I'll trust you. Justice won. It's a smart choice. So, Gavin, how do you feel? Uh, I don't know. My stomach is hurting. Oh, come on. The elemental hero can take more than that. I feel like something surging through me. Whoa! Oh, what was that? <laughs> that means the potion worked. You just electrically charged your body. That would have killed any other person on the planet. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Now you know how serious this is. Let's start your training. Oh, oh, it's crazy. Oh, man. Can't stop now. Come on, you can do better. You think this is a joke? You need to stay focused, Gavin. Well, you actually did it. You have more control now. Oh, you think so? Huh, I do feel a lot better. Now, I have taught you everything that I could. The next thing you need to do is learn to master your water element. You'll need to meet Sage, and she will help you. Oh, cool. Uh, where can I find her? She's far away in the tropical regions of Roblox. But the instincts that you've developed will get you there. Listen to them, and they will guide you. I will. Uh, thank you, Anthony. Good luck. Oh man, it's been a while since I've seen Luke. I I really should go talk to him. I can't wait to show him my new powers. I don't think this is crazy. Wait, what was that? Uh, 
No way. It's him. Uh-oh. Hey, get back here. You're not going to get away again. Where is he? Oh, man, you got to be kidding me. Hey, who are you? I am Celsius. I had a feeling we'd be meeting soon. Oh, yeah? You're the villain I'm supposed to fight, aren't you? <laughs> villain. Maybe I am a villain. The villain you're gonna join. Oh, yeah, fat chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be far. <laughs> guy knocked me out real good. Oh, where am I? Hey, hello? <laughs> oh man, someone's coming. Glad to see you're awake, Gavin. Who are you? Where am I? You're at a base, Gavin, and I'm the boss of this game. Why am I here? Let me out of this cage! Gavin, we know you have superpowers, and we could use someone like you on our team. Think about it! With your powers and our resources and strength, we could rule the world! I don't want to rule the world. I'll never join you. I'm not gonna let you use my powers for evil. Well, it's too bad, Gavin. If you won't join us willingly, we'll have to take your powers by force and create more villains like you. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <gasps> what the? Uh! Oh, I, I didn't even know I could do that. Whoa, that's it. Boys, get him. Whoa, I can fly. Sweet, you'll never catch me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I will find you, Gavin. And when I do, I'll take your powers and use them for my own. Come on, Luke, answer your text. I know you're never not on your phone. Oh, where is he? Hey, dude, you better get out of here before my dad sees you. Ah, uh, Luke, I, I really need to see you. I, I want to let you know that I I'm going to prove this town wrong. I'm going to prove my innocence. What do you mean? I have powers, Luke, real superpowers. I met this boss or whatever who's trying to take over the city and Roblox. I need to stop him. I'm going to go on a quest to get the rest of my powers. It might take a while, but I was wondering if you could keep me updated on what's going on in the city while I'm gone. Yeah, of course I'll keep you updated. Just do me a favor and stay safe out there, okay? I will. Will. I want you to know, you still have a friend that believes in you. I know you're a good person, and I know you'll prove to them that you're a real hero. You're the best, Luke. Thanks. Take care. Yeah, you too. Oh, man, I still can't believe I can fly. This is incredible. Oh, wait a second. How do I stop? Oh, man. Oh! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh. I saw him! I saw him go in here! Freeze, you super villain! Oh, wait, hold up! I I'm not a villain! I'm a hero! I I'm here to help! I'm sick of people like you destroying the city with your powers! Get in the car! I'm sorry, I can't do that, officer. We'll see someday. I'm here to help the hey, city. Hey! Get back here, you criminal! Oh, man, I can't see anything. I want to find anybody in this jungle. I've been walking for hours, and... I haven't found this sage person. How am I supposed to get my water element power? Oh, wait, what is this? An earthquake? What is this? Well, better check it out. Oh. I've been expecting you. Oh, you must be sage. Uh, I'm glad I finally found you. Step near the water. Uh, okay. All right, now what am I supposed to do? Ah! Hey, 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 what was that for? Get me out! Get me out! Oh. Uh. Very interesting. Oh, what just happened? Did I absorb the water element? Your training begins tomorrow, Gavin. Welcome back, Gavin. You now have the elemental power of water. You can now breathe underwater and can use a water blast. I can breathe underwater? <laughs> That's awesome. This is amazing. Thank you. You still need to be trained to be strong enough to face the boss. Wait, you know about the boss? What, what can you tell me about him? His name was Celsius. He used to be a hero that wanted all the fame, but he wasn't strong enough. He made a deal with an evil sorcerer who gave him powers, and fueled by jealousy of other heroes, he started a war against us. Now, we have been battling good and evil for centuries. Well, don't you worry. I'm ready. I'm going to stop him. Not until you are fully trained. Oh, okay. Where do we start? Well, show me the water blast I told you about. Okay. Huh! Oh, 
Whoa, that's crazy. Very impressive. Now, let's go for a swim. All righty then. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this jungle. Training with Sage was incredible, but I really need to get back home. Oh, man, that must be Luke. Hey, Luke, what's going on? Kevin, the city is under attack. What? Well, what do you mean? Bunch of criminals just took over an area of the city and burned it all to the ground. They're trying to take over apartment buildings, businesses, everything. No, they're not. I'm on my way. Okay, here we go. I want to put some of that training to good use. I know I can do this. Man, look at all this destruction. I gotta see if anybody's okay. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, no, I need to stop this. Hey, who's this freak? This freak's gonna stop you. Ah! Ah! We're taking over the city. Oh no, you're not getting away. Ah! Ah! All right, here you go. Hey, yo, yo did this! How many times do I have to tell you that I'm here to help? Do you think I would send all these criminals out here if I was doing crime myself? I don't know, maybe not. The simple villains are crazy! Exactly, they are crazy. These are the same type of people who killed my parents. I want justice. I'm here to help you. Well, I still don't trust you! Well, yeah, you should. Oh, man. Mom, Dad, I miss you so much. There's so much weight on my shoulders right now. But I promise you, I'll get justice for what happened to you. I'll fulfill my prophecy of being the elemental superhero. I just wish you were here to see it. I love you both so much. Please watch over me. Give me strength to move forward. I love you, Mom and Dad. Your training is going well, I see. Hey, the city is under attack, and you're here talking about my training? I know you're angry, Gavin, but you need to remain calm and focused if you're going to defeat Celsius. <sighs> You're right. The city hates me. How am I supposed to help them? It's the price of being a hero, Gavin. You're gonna be misunderstood. But right now, this city needs you. And you need a hideout where you can watch over them. Are you crazy? I don't have the money to build a hideout or the time. Follow me. I think I know a place. Oh, look at this place. This looks sick. Wait, is this mine? It is. Oh, man, this is incredible. How did you even manage to get all this stuff? Let's just say I have a few connections. It's good to have good friends. And there's something over here. I have one more surprise for you. Go change into the suit I left in there for you. Suit? Like a superhero suit? Wow, this is awesome. Oh, I look pretty good. You look great, Gavin. Oh, this is amazing, Pato. Thank you. I, I can't believe I have my own superhero base and suit. This is nuts. And you also have a responsibility to use it for good. This city needs you now more than ever. Of course. I won't let them down. I'll put a stop to Celsius and his evil plans once and for all. I know you will. Thanks, Klepto. I need to go find Luke and show him this place. Oh, man, he's going to love it. <laughs> what? What happened here? <laughs> Mr. Peterson, what happened? Where's Luke? Uh, you! You took him! What? N no, I didn't. Oh, it must have been Celsius. He's the person responsible for all of this. You're the one who's responsible for all of this. This is all your fault. Why'd you even come back here? I told you to stay away from my family. And now look what happened. Luke is gone, and he's never coming back. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll make it right. I got to find Luke, and I need to stop Celsius. This is what Celsius held me last time. He's got to be here. Luke! Luke, are you here? Oh, no. <laughs> You're dumber than I thought coming back here. Uh, Celsius, where's Luke? Give me back my friend. You think I'm going to listen to you? You're not strong enough to defeat me yet. Don't you get that? I'm strong enough to know that I can't let you win. That's where you're wrong, Gavin. I always win. Yeah. Ah. Uh, not this time. Uh, you won't win. Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. You think you can beat me? I'll destroy you. And I'll destroy everything. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, the building is completely destroyed. And he's right. I'm not strong enough yet. Celsius is just messing with me. Oh, I've got to get out of here. Oh, oh, my leg. You didn't think you could defeat him like this, did you? Oh, Kleto. Oh, I had to try. I know, I know. Stubborn as always. But you can't just rush into these things, Gavin. You need to be stronger. I realize that now. Come on. I'll take you back to the base and get you back to health. And will you listen to me next time? Yes, I will. It's taken a full week, but I think you're back to fighting shape. Yeah, I think so too. Hey, thanks for everything, Klepto. I'm feeling much better now. And I'm really sorry about Luke. It's a shame your friend got caught up in all this. Don't worry, I I'm gonna get him back. Good, but before you do that, you need to go get the last elemental power of fire. Oh, fire. Where can I find that? Sage told me that your guide is somewhere in the volcano region down south, but be careful. It's a dangerous place. People that go tend to not come back. Don't worry, I will. Thanks again, Klepto. Well, this is it. Volcano region of Roblox. And if I was the fire guide, I'd probably be right there. I really hope I'm onto something. Hello? Is anyone there? Kill it! Ah! Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> Maybe he really isn't the elemental hero. Ah! Oh, whoa, this is incredible. Look at me! Uh, my skin is blue? And wait, what am I wearing? I feel so powerful. It really is you. Hey, man, that hurt. What's wrong with you? Of course it hurt. You just had to get engulfed in lava. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel pretty great. I think all my elements are complete. Ah! It looks as though you're right, but you still need some special training. Rookie, not for me, though, but from Klepto. What? Klepto will teach you all that you need to know. The volcano is going to erupt. We need to leave now. Somebody help! Hey, <laughs> you're not going anywhere, you creep. Hey, you creep, I'm a cop! Leave me alone! Face it, no one's coming to save you. Hey, stay back! Ah! Oh, wait, it was all his idea! Ah! You? You helped me? Yes, of course I helped you. I've been trying to help you all along. Well, you I'm sorry I didn't trust you before. Celsius has infiltrated a lot of people, and uh, I didn't know who I could trust. Don't worry, I understand. My parents were killed. I swore that I would get revenge. And that's what I'm doing. Revenge and justice. You know, it might not be a bad idea. Having a superhero help fight a supervillain. What do you say? We should work together. That sounds like a great idea. But right now, I have some training to do. Training? Training for what? To become the elemental hero I was meant to be. I am only going to teach you what is written in the ancient texts. I don't know how it'll work, since you're the only elemental hero. Oh, well, regardless. Thank you for helping me when I was abandoned. Of course. You used your pain for the right things. You'll keep fighting for justice. I will. I'm ready. Okay, now I want you to use your elemental powers. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Now it's time to train. Come on, we're gonna push you to your limits. Run faster! Your powers are growing stronger! Now, a final lightning strike! Do it! Ah! Gavin, I am extremely proud of you. I think you're ready for the challenge that lies ahead of you. Oh, I know I'm ready. I'm gonna save this city and my friend Luke. I must warn you, Gavin, to be careful and remind you that Celsius is a powerful adversary. Don't you worry, I'm not worried about him. I will stop at nothing to defeat Celsius and save the city. Gavin, thanks for coming. We have a lot of intelligence that Celsius has created a new headquarters somewhere around the city, but we haven't been able to locate it yet. We're expecting that he's got some sort of doomsday device, something to attack the city, and he's ready to make his final move. Oh, I understand, but I wonder why he moved. We're expecting that he's got some sort of doomsday device, something to attack the city, and he's ready to make his final move. So am I. I'll be strong enough to stop him now, don't you worry. You better be. You're our last hope. A lot of people have joined our side just to make sure they don't get in your way. The whole city's police force 
is behind you now. And I'm behind all of you. I promise. I'm going to keep this city safe. I'm going to go check out that area. And if you hear anything about Luke, please tell me. Of course, of course. Good luck and stay in contact. Let us know if you need our help. where Officer Chris sent me. This has to be the place. And this is where it ends. Luke! Luke, are you here? Gavin? Gavin! Oh my gosh, it's really you! You're here! Of course I am, Luke. I've been looking everywhere for you. Okay, well, we have to get out of here fast. Celsius is insane. He's planning to launch an all-out attack on the city. People are in danger. Yeah, I know. Uh, a police officer told me the same thing. Oh, let's get out of here quickly before it launches. Wait a minute. Hold on. Before we go, is anyone else in there? No. Everyone else left to go to a different base. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm definitely sure. All right, then. <laughs> Whoa. That should slow him down. Let's head back to the police station. Where did you learn how to do that? Uh, it's a long story. We'll talk later. This is it, Gavin. This is the moment you've been preparing for. Just be careful, dude, please. Don't do anything crazy. I never do anything crazy. Don't worry, Luke. I've been training for this. I know what I have to do. What's wrong? There are explosions going off all around the city. No. Plateau, monitor my location using your computers. I'm going to put an end to this once and for all. <laughs> That's right, everybody. The end is here. You're right, Celsius. Your end is here. <laughs> no, my friend. No, it's not. When I hit this detonator that I have, the secret base is going to pump toxic waste throughout this entire city. Oh, you mean the one that I blew up? What? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> what? What, what's going on? Why isn't this working? Because I already told you. I blew it up. It's over. Oh, that's it. Ah! What? Uh, is that all you got? Uh, you're not as powerful as you thought, Celsius. This is for my mom and dad. No, please, no. Ah! Oh! You're in a rotten jail for a long time, Celsius. Soon the world will all be mine! We have to stop Dr. Zero. I can help. I'm a superhero too. You're not a superhero, Scott. Not yet. Now keep your little brother safe. Ah! Ironside and wildfire! You must be here to stop me. Dr. Zero, you're going down! Don't worry, Seth. I'll protect you no matter what. Look at Mom and Dad. They're the coolest superheroes in the world. And we're being raised by these heroes. When we get older, we'll be heroes too. Ah! Ah! Seth, I don't understand. You're almost 15. You should have gotten your superpowers by now. I know I'll get them. I seem to try a little harder. Just admit it. You don't have any superpowers. You should just stop embarrassing yourself and the family. Maybe I do have superpowers. They're just not here yet. Ugh, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time. Dad asked me to start training you and it's absolutely useless you're pathetic look scott i'm just trying my best okay wait what's this oh no the city's under attack something about killer drones this is not good i just got the alert too it's time to go scott <laughs> all right it's time for surge to save the day wait i want to help too what can i do you can just get out of the way yeah seth stay home where it's safe come on scott your mother will meet us there <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely pathetic. Dr. Zero thought he could take over the city with drones. I know, what a joke. And you, Scott, you did incredible out there. Oh, uh, it was easy. I didn't know you could actually make a whole tidal wave of electricity. Your powers are developing and you're using them wisely. Yeah, and I'll teach Dr. Zero that he can't mess with us. <sighs> You're being awfully quiet. How was your day? Well, you guys, I got an A on my math midterm. <laughs> What's so funny, Scott? Oh, I just think it's funny. You're comparing saving the day in the entire city to a math test? I mean, come on. It's pathetic. <laughs> you know what? I don't have to listen to this. Seth, you forgot something. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at him. He's so dumb. I'm so tired of this. Is everything all right? Are you okay? No, mom. Not okay. Scott always makes me feel like I'm useless. Useless? Absolutely not. You are very important to this family. What? What are you talking about? You keep everyone together and keep us humble. Sure, your brother, on the other hand, has superpowers, but that doesn't make him more important than you. Well, I don't know why you say that I'm so important. I don't have any superpowers or anything. I'm not special at all. Seth, you are 
special. Not all superheroes have powers, you know. And you're my hero. I'm proud of you. And I always will be. Thanks, Mom. Come on. You don't want your dinner to get cold now, do you? Yeah, dude, you should have seen it. Ironside flew in. He was like, pa, pa, pa. And then Wildfire was like, with all the fire, you know? Yeah, Albert, that seems pretty cool. Man, and I was right there. Those killer drones were everywhere. And then Surge came in. You should have seen it. Yeah, if only I've seen it. Imagine being, like, in a superhero family like that. It's not as cool as you think it is. Hey, Seth, congratulations. Mr. Flakes, why are you congratulating me? What's going on? Well, you're now the smartest kid in school. You're the top of the class. Whoa, man, that's awesome. Congratulations, Seth. I just wish your brother was as smart as you. What? Why are you saying that? I think Scott's pretty smart. No, he's as dumb as a post. He's failing almost all his classes. Well, to be honest, I'm not really that surprised. Scott doesn't think school is important. And that's why your brother's an idiot. I can't wait to see what you do for the science fair. See you boys in class. Yo, speaking of, dude, isn't it your birthday this weekend? Yeah, that's right. You have anything planned? Sorry, but my family actually does have something special planned. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Scott, do you want to say anything to your brother? Yeah, happy birthday or whatever. Well, do you feel any different? It's your 15th birthday and everyone gets their powers when they turn 15 in our family. I don't feel any different. Try reading my mind. Can you levitate that soda can over there? I got nothing. Maybe your powers are something really special. He's not special at all. He does not have powers like the rest of us. Well, we should try the test. All right, Seth, you know the drill, don't you? Yeah, I've been waiting for this day for years. Now you have to run down the dock and jump out over the water. If you've got superpowers, you'll fly. And if you don't, you'll fall flat on your face like you always do. All right, enough, Scott. Seth, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Watch me. He's going to do it. I just know it. Good luck. <sighs> Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see him? I don't get it. Superpowers run in our family. Everyone has them. Yeah, well, clearly not with Seth. Really sorry, Seth. I, I guess you don't have superpowers. It's fine. He does not have to have superpowers. We can finally stop wasting our time with this pathetic loser. Scott, do not call your brother a loser. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disappoint you guys. Look, I promise I won't get in the way anymore. Seth, wait. C come back. You know what? I may not have superpowers, but I am smart. And maybe this device I'm working on can actually help. And it's done. Dad, Dad, check this out. What is it? I made you guys a new tracker. It's like a GPS, so that way we know where our family is at all times. Wow, this is actually a great idea. I think I'll put it in our super suits right away. I'm not putting that in my suit. Seth made it. It's probably gonna backfire and electrocute me. Scott, you need to stop being so mean to your brother. Scott's just upset that he's failing his classes. He's what? <laughs> How'd you find that out? You're failing all of your classes? Ugh, you're so stupid! <laughs> ah! I've had enough of the fighting in this family. You boys have to change your attitudes right now. Breaking news! Dr. Zero is attacking the city again! We are all in extreme danger! Ugh, Dr. Zero. Just in time! This is awesome! Scott, you're not going anywhere. You're kidding, right? This is Dr. Zero! Now you stay here and keep your brother safe. No arguments! Wow, thanks a lot, Seth! Because of you, now I can't do anything! Well, it's all your fault. You shouldn't be failing classes! Honestly, why are you even still here? You should just run away. Our family is so much better off without you. You are useless! You know what? Fine! I will! So, Albert, did you ask your parents, can I stay with you guys tonight? Yeah, man, I did, but my mom said no. I'm sorry. Man, well, that's all right. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Albert. Man, what am I gonna do now? I've got nowhere to go. No food to eat either. Oh, no, that truck's heading right to me! Ah! Hey, you better watch where you're going! Oh, sorry! Sorry! Seth, what are you doing out here? Are you asking for trouble? Dad, I left. Scott doesn't want me around. He says I'm ruining the family name. He said what? Ugh, that is so far from the truth. You're the one that holds this family together. You and mom raised me to be a superhero, but I'm just not one. I don't have powers or anything. I just want to help, but I can't. Seth, you are helping. I mean, your new invention completely worked. You know, you need to ignore your brother. He's overly confident and he's acting spoiled. And I will deal with him later. But first, you and I have to go home. Seth, did you make this thing? What is it? 
Well, it's a gauntlet. I was thinking it could actually help Scott with his powers. And you made this for your science fair project. Wow, incredible. Yeah, incredibly stupid. <laughs> like I would ever trust anything he makes. Scott, enough of that. Seth, I think you're going to win. Oh, hold on a second. Oh no, it's a runaway train filled with people. It must be Dr. Zero again. We have to go. This is an emergency. Sorry, we're going to miss the science fair, Seth. Oh, it's okay, you guys. Go save the day. Can I come too? Pass your classes first. First. Great, I miss out yet again, all because of you. Now I've got to waste my time here at this stupid science fair. You can go if you want. Yeah, maybe I should. But before I do go, I just want to tell you, Seth, all these things you're doing, the tracker, the gauntlet, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying so hard to be a hero. And guess what? All of it means nothing. Seth, you did it. You won first place at the science fair. Wait, I did? You know, Scott, you should be more like your little brother. At least someone in your family's smart. Ugh, I can't believe this trash. Listen, Seth, you can win as many of these stupid awards as you want, but you will never be a hero. Have fun living with that. Seth, what's the matter, man? You've barely touched your burger. I don't know, Albert. I just don't really feel like celebrating right now. How can you not feel like celebrating? You should be so proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. You won the science fair and basically got a free ride to college. Well, yeah, I'm excited about that. But to be honest, I just wish I didn't feel like such an outcast for my own family. Yeah, sure. Your older brother is a total jerk. But your mom and dad are really cool. Well, they're a little bit more than cool. What do you mean by that? Albert, the truth is my mom and dad are Wildfire and Ironside. Yeah, right. Funny joke. Wait, hold on. You're serious? Yes, I'm serious. But you have to promise to never tell anyone. Yeah, man. Of course, you're my best friend. I won't say a thing, but that's so cool. Your mom and dad are the coolest superheroes in the world. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Why aren't you happy? Well, because I don't fit in. I don't have superpowers. I'm just normal. I don't even feel like I'm a part of my own family. Dude, you're like the smartest man I've ever met in my life. Maybe that's your superpower, you know? Big brain. I don't know about that. What was that? That was my phone. My house alarm's going off. No, that means there's trouble. Oh no, the house is on fire. What happened to this place? Scott, mom, dad, where are you guys? Oh no, Scott. Come on, let's get you outside. Oh man, you're heavy. Ugh. Scott, wake up. Wake up right now. Seth, Seth, what are you doing? Scott, what happened? It was Dr. Zero. He broke into the house and attacked mom and dad. He took them. What? came out of nowhere. We don't even know how he found us. I tried to fight back, but Dr. Zero was way too strong. He knocked me out. No, this is so bad. We have to save them. How are we going to do that when we have no idea where he took them? You don't know the first thing about being a hero. Don't you remember those trackers that I invented? I can track where they are through their suits. Yeah, I doubt that will work. Oh yeah? Then what's this? Is that them? Yeah, so now we can go find them together. I can save mom and dad on my own. I mean, what are you going to do? Scott, for once, put your ego aside. You have to let me help. You can't do it without me. Uh, fine. You can come with me. You have to stay out of my way. Yeah, this is definitely the place. Looks like Dr. Zero's lab. There's guards everywhere, but we can probably sneak inside. We? Just shut up, Seth. You're not going inside. What are you talking about? You're going to stay put. No way. I have something for you that will help. It's that gauntlet that I made. Look, dude, enough of you and your dumb inventions, okay? I'm not using that thing. I have to go in there and save mom and dad. What is wrong with you? It's my mom and dad, too. I would do anything to save them. Ugh, you are so frustrating, Seth. It is my job to protect you. I'm your older brother, and you need to do what I say. I'm not a little kid anymore, and you need to give me at least one chance. Now you're going to shut up and stay put. <laughs> I'm not just gonna stand by and do nothing. I can still be a hero. Oh no, Scott! Ah! Ah! Oh, your attempt to stop me is pathetic. Your parents are doomed. I'm going to turn them into robots and steal their power. Scott, are you okay? Oh. Seth, what are you doing? Get out of here! I'm not going anywhere. Here, you need to put this on. Come on, seriously? Just do it. It's gonna double your power. Just have some faith in me. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Oh, and this must be the little brother, huh? I will destroy you and him. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Did you just threaten my little brother? No way. You're gonna stay away from my family. Whoa, hold on. Ah! This thing really kicks. 
Yes, it worked! Yeah, yeah, it worked. Look, we don't have time to celebrate. We need to find mom and dad. It looks like we're gonna be turned into robots after all. We don't have time for this. We need to find a way out. Mom, dad, there you are! Boys! Scott, try to use your powers on the machine. Yeah, you've got it. <laughs> oh no, there's no effect. Oh no, I've got to do something. I think this thing is running off of a computer. Give me one second. If I hack inside it, maybe I can shut it down. Hurry, Seth, there's not a lot of time. You did it! You boys saved us. I didn't save you guys. It was Seth. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. The tornado is heading our way! Someone help me! It's moving fast! Oh, please! Go inside right now! What? Please help! Oh my gosh, he's a hero! Alright, everyone, get inside right now! Ugh. Oh no, is the entire neighborhood destroyed? Ugh, this is horrible! Oh, I need to put on my uniform before anyone sees me. Alright, Kenny? Kenny, are you here? <coughs> <coughs> uh, oh, man. Kenny, there you are. Are you okay? Ah, uh, yeah. I think I'm all right. Steven? Uh, um... How is it possible? You are a superhero? Look, we don't have time to sit around. Walk and talk with me instead. You can walk, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I can walk. Let's go. So, does anyone else know you're a hero? No. No one else can. I don't want any of my friends or family to be in danger. I need to keep that separate. This is just crazy. I can't believe you are a superhero. I've seen you on the news, man. Look, Kenny, we need to focus. We need to make sure that everyone else is okay. I mean, look around. The entire neighborhood is gone. You're right. We should be looking and seeing if people need help. Man, this place is a complete mess. Help! Someone please help! Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, I'll be right back. Man, you should have seen what happened. It was crazy. He was pulling people out of buildings, saving people's lives. This guy was a hero. Yeah, I heard about him all on the news. Yeah, and he probably has the sickest powers out of any superhero around. Hey, what are you guys talking about? The new superhero Shockwave. Yeah, I was just telling him how you, how Shockwave uh, was saving people last night, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kenny, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure. Hey, remember how we talked about this? How important it is that no one knows that I'm a hero? Yes, you're right, I know. But I can't help it. I had to tell him what happened. Look, Kenny, this is really important to me. You cannot tell anybody. Telling people about who I really am can have some serious consequences. And your family can be in danger. Yes, yes, I know. And also you too. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? I won't tell anybody that you're Shockwave. I promise. What? I can't believe this. Everything's starting to make sense now. <laughs> so Steven is Shockwave. And now the whole world is gonna know. <laughs> Wait, what? What are all these people doing outside my house? Little boy heroes here. Yeah, you should leave. Go. You people need to get off my property right now. Ugh. Steven, Steven, what is going on? Dad, let's go inside now. Look, there he is. It's the freak. Why don't you put on your stupid mask? Steven, you have to tell me what is happening right now. Look, Dad, don't listen to all them. They're crazy. I'll get this all sorted it out. No, I want to know what's going on right now. They keep calling you a freak. They said they wanted Shockwave. That's that guy on the news. Uh, what am I going to do now? Uh, I gotta get out of here. I can't believe Kenny told someone. Who did he tell? It had to be him. No one else knew. And now it seems like the whole world knows. He should be around here somewhere. Hey, Steven. What are you doing here? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Yeah, I saw everything on the news. Look, I can't believe you. How could you do this? Me? I didn't do anything. You're the only person that knew I was a hero. And now there's angry mobs outside my house constantly. Steven, I promise you, I didn't tell anybody. Ladies and gentlemen, there's urgent news. Darkseid is attacking the city. And he's asking specifically for Steven. That's the secret identity of Shockwave we all just learned the other day. And now Darkseid is causing havoc in the city. Steven or Shockwave, whatever you've done, this is all your fault. You need to stop this. Uh, Kenny, you see what you did? I didn't do anything. I've got to go now. Oh no, the whole city's on fire. Oh, there's Darkseid. Stop right there. Well, if it isn't the guy I wanted to see. Hello, Steven. What do you want with me anyway? <laughs> it's pretty simple. I want your world to burn. Now I know exactly who you are, and I know your weakness. I am Shockwave, and I have no weaknesses. I know who you really are, and more importantly, who 
to attack. You better leave everyone alone! Well, you can try to stop me now or later. It's your choice. It's on, Darkseid! Oh no, I knew this was gonna happen. My entire family is in danger now! What do you think you're doing? You think just because you're a big fancy hero you can leave school early? Well, I have to. My family keeps getting attacked. I need to get them to safety right away. Oh, poor little shockwave. I had to see my family. Josh, just get out of my way, okay? Why don't you make me? I'm stronger than you. You weak, pathetic, good-for-nothing loser. With everything else I've got going on right now, I don't have time for this. Hey, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Really, dude? Just back off. Whoa. Hey, don't push me. Leave me alone. Oh, you're making fun of me, too. Look at Josh. He's so dumb. Oh, look. Josh is crying. I'm not going to let him make a fool of me and get away with it. No way. No one messes with Josh. Oh, doesn't this place look great? This is where you're going to have to stay for a while, Dad. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Sure you're sorry. Dad, don't be like this. I can't believe you lied to me. And you did this to me. You're ruining our lives, Steven, with all of this. Look, I can't help it. It. This is how I was born. I had no idea that everyone would find out like this. Well, now your brothers are gonna have to go to a new school. I'm gonna have to get a new job. We might have to change our names, too. We lost all of our friends. Well, I'd rather have that than something horrible happen to you guys. Yeah, well, I don't know if I can just let this go, Steven. Dad? Dad? Ugh. Hello? What do you want? Hey, Steven, you need to get to school. It's important. All right. What's happening here? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Josh. And Josh, what is it you'd like to say to all these people? Well, I wanted to announce that I was the one that broke the news. I was the one who found out Shockwave's true identity. <gasps> yes. Oh, my. So you are the one. That's right. And I know that Steven is one of the most villainous people I know. He pushed me at school the other day and everybody saw it. <gasps> Wow, so what you're telling me is Steven is an absolute monster and a jerk. Yeah, that's exactly it. He's so mean. Oh, and look at him cry. Steven is making the man cry, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. I'm not a bad person. None of this is true. <gasps> ladies and gentlemen, it is Steven Shockwave himself. It is true. Why keep it a secret from everyone if you have nothing to hide, huh? I did it for protection, dude. To protect himself. Yeah, this guy's a total jerk. <laughs> Hey, hey! See, everybody hates you, and they know the truth. Uh, this isn't over, Josh. All right, come on, Steven. Pick up the phone, please. Come on. Your call has been forwarded to an <sighs> Useless. Voice Voicemail again. Uh, how am I supposed to talk to my best friend if you won't even answer the phone? Should I try again? <sighs> Whatever. What's the point? Steven can put me and my dad in this big fancy hotel room for safety all he wants. But it means nothing if I can't explain myself to him. I still can't believe he believes I was the one that exposed his secret. It wasn't me at all. I'd never do that to him. I feel really bad. I would never hurt my best friend. But maybe this is it. Maybe we really aren't friends anymore. Well, you know what? Fine. If Steven doesn't want to be my friend, so be it. And I don't want to be his friend either. Ah! ah dark side! <laughs> Stay away from me. Look, Steven's not here, okay? I'm not looking for Steven. I'm looking. For you. No, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kenny, but I need to get your friend's attention somehow. Oh, man. I owe Kenny an apology. It was just Josh the whole time. Hey, Steven, where is Kenny? What? Mr. Marshall, what are you talking about? Kenny is gone. I've been looking for him everywhere. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do I mean? His best friend treated him like trash, and now he ran away. This is all your fault, Steven. All right, just calm down. What happened exactly? Someone broke a window in our stupid hotel, and Kenny's been missing ever since. Someone broke a window? Maybe someone broke in. Or maybe Kenny broke it because he was so upset with his best friend. Oh, man, this isn't good. Listen, Mr. Marshall, I'll find your son. Don't worry. You better bring him home. He is your friend. After everything you two have gone through, you owe it to him. You're Absolutely right. And honestly, he deserves a better friend than you in the first place. I'll find him, and I'll make sure that he's okay. <sighs> Just let me go. No, not yet. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for your friend, Steven. <laughs>
Yeah? Well, that's funny. What a waste of your time. What? Stephen doesn't even care about me. We used to be friends, but we kind of fight. Oh, trust me. If Stephen is the hero he says he is, he'll show up. Dark side, you let Kenny go right now. Almost on cue. <laughs> Incredible work, Stephen. Truly. <sighs> Stephen, I can't believe you. It's time to finally take you out once and for all. And then once you're down, no one will miss you. The entire city basically hates you now. You're all alone. How does it feel to be alone? None of that is true. I have support. I've always had it. <laughs> Just as stubborn as ever. I am sick of this. It's time for Darkseid to take control. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna beat me. That's what you always say. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna put you somewhere where you don't escape. You haven't seen the last of- uh. Man, he never gives up. Kenny, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm glad you made it. Thanks, Steven. No, thank you. You know, I was so used to being alone and going through all this by myself. But I'm glad I have a friend to lean on. You always did. You always will. You have your family to lean on too, you know. You're right. I should have believed you from the start, man. I'm sorry. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Of course it was Josh that ruined your secret identity. But maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe all of this will work out. What are we doing? Are we really going home now? Yes, and I'm sorry. We're going to get through all this together, okay? Well, I hate to break to you, but look around, Steven. Nothing has changed. People are still here. They still hate us. Get out of here, you freaks! We don't want you here! He's a monster! Maybe we should go after all. No, Dad, we're not gonna give up. Oh, no, this isn't good. Isn't that? No, that's a tornado siren. Look, it's forming over there. Oh, it's gonna head our way. I've gotta do something. I've gotta try. What? You're, you're crazy. If I don't, no one else will. No, no, Steven, it's too dangerous. Get back here. Man, there it is. I'm trying to find a way to turn this tornado around, or else the entire city's in trouble. I hope this works. All right, here goes nothing. I did it! He saved our lives! He's a hero! 